Just tracking a little bit, and there we go. Welcome to Friday and the art stream, guys. Hope you're all doing pretty good. Uh, we're gonna get back at uh, working on the opening here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the. Okay, we'll just. Yeah, those are all on. We can just go ahead and turn those all off. But actually, let's make a new folder real quick in here. That is the background, because that is exactly what it is. Grab that, grab everything else. We're just going to toss that right in that folder and then collapse that folder. There we go. Because obviously we'll be adding uh, color layers for all the different uh, positions. Uh, let's see, background. Yeah, we turn the uh, background lines off for now, since those are all black. Uh, let's go ahead and add our new folder since this is interacting with the switch we'll put the switch folder in and i'll sit right in there and for now we'll just keep all those off same thing with the uh, wbpl logo i can stay off for now as well uh goes under the colors goes under everything else uh we could turn the backfill back on there we all oh, look at that it makes that red pop out a lot better and we're pretty much uh all set just to really start on the Lions, I believe, was what we came to that. So speaking of lines, let's make those new layers. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Let's make five for now. I'll just do the body armor, which we'll try and keep to like the chest piece and the big shoulders. And... Uh, We'll have these as legs, actually. Yeah. As legs. I know I want the gauntlets. Arm slash gauntlets. Those will all be in the same layer, I think. We'll have the head there. Yeah, I think that will do, do pretty well pretty well let's go grab our, our different pens real quick that's pretty aggressive Thank you, Mr. Crotch Rocket. Uh, actually, let's check out the background lines too, real quick. See which ones these are closest to. Uh, felt does look a little big. Let's turn the felt down to three. Turn the felt up to four. Looks like it's the felt tip is what uh, we used for the background. 
Good day there, Numbers. Good day to you, indeed. How are you today, Numbers? It is Friday, we made it. I start with the armor. And we can go ahead and turn the background lines off. Also, for those of you unaware, uh, Rob will be doing the streamathon tomorrow. Oh, not quite well. Usually go by 47. Well, we can call you 47 if you want 47, but you're also just numbers. But like I was saying, Rob is going to be starting the uh, streamathon uh, off tomorrow, uh, starting at 9 a.m. Eastern. Uh, and he'll be, and that will be to benefit a staff house, more or less, if you want to call it that, uh, for the WBPL members, presumably going to the meetup at location redacted and state redacted during uh, the month of October. So he'll be starting off at 9, and uh, there'll be goals to be met to keep him going uh, a lot of the day. And quite a few of us will be uh, popping in and out to see how he's doing, help him out, just to hang out with Robert, of course, to hang out with all of you. Uh, I do plan on showing up during my normal time, so about 9 to noon. Uh, and what I'll be doing is, like last year, I shall be making breakfast as I talk with Rob. But also on top of that, um, it probably won't be obviously seen on stream, but I will be doing some uh, outfit and upgrade grinding for Breath of the Wild, so that way we don't get uh, tossed around quite as much. Uh, taking damage in many of the in the armors we currently have in the game. There we go. Actually, we'll put that in the arms layer because we are going to delete some lines, and it's not going to be fun if I got to play if I got to tiptoe around the lines. Yeah, I could make a shoulder layer, but eh. Screw it, right? Don't make a detail. Layer here, and I have to take care of something real quick. Uh, excuse me, you guys should be able to see what pops up. Luckily for me. I just gotta go ahead and hit do not disturb on Steam there. There you go. Alright, so it. Uh, right, no, I just made that layer, so we're good. We're good, yeah? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, son of a bitch. What layer are you on? Oh, you're on the body layer. I mean, you can be on the body layer. That's fine, I guess. Let's just take you off the body layer, though. Okay, whatever sound effect they're using in this uh, song... Really sounds like the uh, Star Trek tricorder noise from uh, the Next Generation uh, series. T I, not timeline, but Next Generation era. That's it. What am I drawing? Uh, I'm working on the on my starting soon screen for the uh, gaming section I do of the on on air uh, system Saturdays 
Uh, currently, we do have the, let me, let me show off here. Uh, put the colors and lines on, and bada bing, bada boom. We've got uh, just a little display of my console setup. And currently what I'm doing at this moment though, is, turn that off, I can turn the colors off, and I'll turn the background lines off, is now I'm putting myself in the image, interacting with the console that will be the one currently featured on stream. And since we're doing uh, Breath of the Wild, we are interacting with the Switch at the moment. So we're working on that little interaction here. You know what, let's put this on the armor layer. So I do want to bring this up a little bit, kind of like a belt buckle. There we go, back to the body layer, we'll just kind of swing. Oh, we can actually just uh, zoom out and rotate here. Now I'll rotate, get closer to 90 here, I think. Yeah. There we go. Let's take out that little bit there. Oh. Wrong zoom and then recenter. There we go. That's the armor layer. Oh, that's our pencil. Back to our pen. There we go. Uh, you'll also put this on that armor layer. Oh yeah. Again, we're not a full-on gaming uh, stream here. There are a few different kinds of streams that happen here. We have a couple of art streams. You know, we've got mine here on Fridays, and uh, we've got the Numeric Workshop. Parallax does some mini paintings. And uh, uh, when he's around, we have Dr. Who that does a cooking show. Uh, I will be getting back into uh, a craft fun back on uh, uh, Saturdays because that originally started off as a modeling stream and building stream. Um, again, we'll be getting back into that. Uh, like I said, I just gotta get the pieces of the Ecto One Star to come back in, and then also work on getting Project Two. Starting, starting to get set up in its place, uh, but that is going to require quite a bit of materials first, and blueprinting. Blueprinting and knowledge of things I do not have knowledge at the moment thereof. Uh, you know, we'll put these on the body layer, the upper parts of the leg, and then the legs will be the big old boots part. Well, doesn't everybody kind of just show up intermediately to stir up contra contra controversies? We're going to be fancy and use the fancy way of saying controversies here. I mean, I myself am no stranger to controversies because apparently, um, with the exception of Hosfe, mine is the most controversial stream there is on WBPL as far as YouTube is concerned. Uh, I get a lot of strikes and no-nos, I guess, 
as we try to upload the VODs. I could not tell you why. Maybe it's because we say poop too much, but I... Fuck! Shit! Damn it! Fuck! Well, there we go. You know. I, I can only venture, I guess, as to why. Why these things happen. How could these happen to me? Uh, oh, that's right. I gotta open something up here real quick. Uh, pictures, there we go. Controversies. Okay, yeah. Do that. Again, I don't know why my streams are so controversial. They just happen to be. Diggs has threatened to cut my cut my funding, which of which I have none of. But who knows? Yeah, well, but again, you have not been the complete cause for multiple notifications on YouTube to say, hey, whoa, what's going on with this? So, I would say by that, I have caused more controversies for the channel that you have, sir. The reason I'm doing it like this is because I want to try and get these uh, knee pads to level out a little bit. That's why I'm not really following the sketch as shown. As a matter of fact, yeah, I probably sh should look into a plugin to get the uh, uh, chat interact uh, showing up on stream as I such. Let's see, I don't know why being praised. Maybe No, I've been causing more. I, I've I've been causing that far. I probably pretty much since I started this stream, and I'm gonna be honest. Um, uh, I don't think I've regularly seen your name here on Fridays until recently, to be honest. Now, Grant, it's not to say you haven't been in chat. It's just my chat has also been on my phone. And I'm not able to catch every single thing now and again, so. But now with a slightly different setup, uh, I'm able to monitor chat a little easier now. Which, good for me, I think. Well, we have no culture here, so none of that can rub off. It just dies instantly. If you think there's any semblance of culture here, well, I'm sorry. You have made a mistake. Only culture we have are the spores, molds, and fungus we collect. Just kind of fix that little 
right there. Let's go ahead and turn the sketch lines off. I think we're good on those now. Or at least at the moment. Yeah, there's some lines we've got to clean up here. Go ahead and bring that in. Fill that out a little bit. All right, we got to put a little bit more on this leg here. Well, obviously, we saw the rest of the upper body to do. Uh, ooh, I'm kind of liking how that's looking, actually. Uh, we'll take care of that line a second. All right, let's turn the sketch back on. No, actually, I don't necessarily need the sketch at the moment. So let's just grab our eraser here. I said our eraser. Get on the right layer. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And now get the pen on. There we go. Make that just a little bit bigger. Zoom in. Very little bits here. Thank you, Mr. Cathedral Style Clock. You're running a good uh, what, seven minutes ahead. I may want to set that clock a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right, turn the sketch layer back on and head back up here. Let's get to the arms and gauntlets. Let's do this one first because I think we could actually move this one in a bit. But I want to get sketched out first, or drawn out, inked out first, rather. Oh, that was kind of cool. What song is this? This is Legion. Let's go ahead and rewind a little bit, because I like that little sound. Let's go back to the 45 second mark here. Wait for it. Yeah, it was pretty neat there. All right, you know, let's go ahead and just favorite that one, because that sound alone, that sound alone made, makes that at the one minute mark. how much the lines are going to cross over, but we'll come to that in just a second here. Hmm. Well, maybe. We'll see. Let's go ahead and see what happens, actually. Actually, this whole arm will need to be a layer in of itself, and you'll see why in a little bit. So, uh, put that on our to-do list there, chat. Just go ahead and put a pin in that for me, or post a note or something like that. We'll get back to that. I'll make the hands of the controller its own layer.
Instructions on Claire. Yeah. Well, I, well, pin stuck a finger. Okay, you know what? That 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 works. That works. That acts as a reminder of what we are going to be doing. So thank you for that. Thank you for that, there, Dupuls. Dupulus. Actually, we're doing. Yes, that is because I am playing Breath of the Wild, yes. Um, because when I stream, um, uh, currently I just do counts. I mean, yeah, I have done some PC games, yes, but uh, mostly for Saturdays in the system Saturdays, where I stream for my counts. And I do not emulate in any way. Uh, if you see me playing uh, a console-based game, it is running off of that home console, be it the Nintendo Switch, uh, the, play the original PlayStation, Sega Genesis, hell, even the original Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, uh, well, it, multiple R's, but it's also just be multiple poses, too. Uh, the idea for this one is this arm will be uh, one frame will be holding the switch out of the dock, and the second one will be this frame where it's in the dock. And I may even have it change up a little bit where the switch is out of the dock, you see WBPL switch goes in the dock. I might have a different screen there, probably uh, a screenshot of Breath of the Wild even. You know, just a little something. No, it's just a little two-frame animation as for the uh, starting soon screen. Uh, but like, let's say I'm going to be playing, um, maybe, maybe a game on the index. You know, one frame might be me with the index over the head. The, another one will be just you know holding it above my head, kind of thing. You know, just, just again, just a little two frame interactions to show which console we're going to be playing on. Hello, TK. Uh, that is a situation, um, I guess. I have not heard of that, but emulation is its own discussion and its own merits. Um, some of which I do not believe I want to get into while on stream. Uh, everyone has their own opinions on emulation. Is it good for digital preservation? Yes, but I am also in the camp of uh, physical media. I do enjoy having, using physical media when possible. Have you not played through of Assassin's Creed PlayStation 2? Uh, no, I do not have that. I do not have a, a really any of the Assassin's Creed, really. Um, one of my, during that era, to be honest, um, my console, I, I, I grew up as Nintendo. I grew up with Nintendo, so uh, my console has pretty much always been Nintendo when it comes to the home console. Um, I really only got a PlayStation 2 because the uh, RPG series I like, uh, the Suikoden series, uh, continued on the PlayStation 2, and that is why I got a PlayStation 2, actually. Um, I don't have a very big library for the PlayStation 2. I've only got a handful of games for it. Um, I've got, like, Guard on there. Uh, I've got Suikoden 3 through 4. On, uh, the pl on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I got Fancy Star Universe on the PlayStation 2 because at the time, I did not have a... I really didn't play on PC, so I didn't get uh, the... Oh, Ace Combat. No, I don't have the Ace Combat games either. Um, yeah, no, the closest thing I have to Ace Combat is, was, is Star Fox Assault. Uh, 
But no, I don't. I don't have. Yeah, no, I, I don't have any of these combat games. So, I am sorry to say. Uh, let's go ahead, grab this. I'm just gonna use the arrow keys to move this over. I think that's. I think that serves a little bit better to be right there, maybe down a little bit. Down a little bit. Okay, if that's at the top of that. Let's move that down a little bit and have it right there, I think. Actually, let's go back because we gotta get the hand in there. But yeah, the again, uh, it was the It was the GameCube was was uh, my was my uh three was was my fourth gen council was my fourth gen console. So I've got more games on the GameCube than I do uh, on the PlayStation 2. The thumb kind of will come out. And... Grab something. Look at hand. The yeah, thumb just kind of comes out. Back up there. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's get the controller here. And, and that's the same way, that's a similar story for basically all of my non-Nintendo consoles is that there was a reason I bought them. And that reason was because a game came out on them that I would have preferred or could only have played on them. Uh, I.e. my Xbox 360 and Ghostbusters from 2009. I wanted to play the realistic version. Uh, didn't necessarily want to get a blue, uh, the PlayStation 4, so I got a 360, which I believe was still cheaper at the time. So... That's why I have an Xbox 360. Uh, but yeah, other than that, yes, I use the PC for gaming. Uh, the Nintendo, it, Nintendo consoles are a wonderful companion for uh, PC gaming because, let's be honest, name 20 non-Nintendo-based games that are exclusive to the PlayStation or Xbox current generation uh, PlayStation and Xbox. Name 20 of them. Because as of right now, those numbers are thinning and getting smaller and smaller. I mean, Xbox themselves, Microsoft themselves, uh, Game Pass. I mean, just look, just look at Game Pass. Most of their games are on Game Pass. Yeah, they're not Steam, but they're available on PC to play. Um, I mean, even now, PlayStation is doing their whole, hey, play these games either on Steam, i.e. Spider-Man, uh, Ratchet and Clank, or they're doing their whole PlayStation Plus Pulse Plus thing, where, some, where you could just play those on PC as well, so you really don't need a PlayStation or an Xbox anymore. It is, ironically enough, Nintendo the one winning the console war because they're the only ones that uh, don't need the that aren't fighting and don't need the PC crowd. Nintendo is happy and content being in their own little world, not playing by anyone's rules. Yeah, and that new Ratchet & Clank is coming to Steam. 
So again, there is, if you want to play Ratchet Clank and you don't have a PlayStation, well, just, heck, you know what? Let, let me take a quick look here on on, uh, on Steam because I believe I did see it advertised. I saw it advertised somewhere saying Ratchet and Clank coming to PC. Yep, Ratchet and Clank, look at that. Oh, look, it's, it's available now. So it was available in July. So yeah. Ta-da. Let's just take a quick look at publishers, at Sony's publishment. Okay, yeah. Spider-Man, Last of Us, God of War, Horizon, Days Gone, Last of Us. Yeah, just some of these big PlayStation titles are on Steam now. Okay, there was a way we could set this to be a hard circle. I forget what it was now. Oh yeah, aspect type here it was, yeah. That's just a straight circle. And we'll just make one just slight. music uh we are listening to the epidemic sound we're just you know epidemic sound and we are listening to the cinematic and fantasy uh playlist is what this is uh i've toyed around with a couple of the uh playlists uh i like this one a bit because uh you know it's one it's just very soft mostly acoustic and just very chill. Uh, is that on the sketch layer? No, that's somewhere on a body layer. Where are you at, Dot? Where did you come from? Where do you exist? Why do you exist there? Let's do a little bit of line cleanup real quick. Get rid of these lines in the arms. Gotta be careful because these are the same layer. Oh hey, we just got a follow. Um, oh no, that was a Prime subscription. Thank you there, Plan B. Uh, I hope that works out for you. If not, um, you know, maybe Plan B 83 will work out for you there, buddy. knows about Cotton Eye Joe, to be honest. No one really knows about Cotton Eye Joe. Sorry, sorry, numbers. I couldn't help you. I really can't help you with that. I've been asked the same question, God, for like 30 years now. 30 years? Okay, no, maybe close to 25 years. No, 30 years? Yeah, no, we're close to 25. We have been, uh, that question has been asked. Uh, 
That's right, Tigris, Cotton Eye Joe. No one really knows. And it's been a mystery for years. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Folder inside a folder. This is the left arm. You know what, let's get another folder inside this folder, but not a folder inside the folder, inside the folder though. That's not what I want to do. Uh, the rest of the body will be its own because I just want to collapse layers. There we go, and just bloop. There we go, and then at least three here. Arm. Armors. And hand. That's what we're doing here. Cotton Eye Joe, that's not a name I've heard since. That was also like. One of the man like quote unquote mandatory songs that was always played at um, one of the sister school high schools dances was Cotton Eye Joe, like tradition kind of thing. If you are interested in their uh, numbers, um, the playlist is down there at the bottom left corner. So if you do like a specific song, uh, A, you can track it down on Spotify yourself, or B, you could just ask me and I could replay it for you. Because, you know, probably like eight out of ten times I wouldn't mind rehearing the song as well. I don't think it would stand necessarily for that there, uh, 47, because it did, you know, Cotton Eye Joe did go away. So, you know, where did you come from? Where did you go? You know, and, you know, most of those really don't go away. You know, they just kind of hold off for a while. I mean, there are many things that we really don't uh, understand about certain songs until you actually start listening to the lyrics and be like, oh, wait, wait a second. That's not just a catchy song. That's a song about having, about doing the horizontal bop. Like the song Horizontal Bop by Bob Seger. And Fire Down Below. But still, the horizontal bop. Who knew that was about doing the horizontal bop? Now, granted, every genre of music is going to be like that. Though. That's the thing. Like, like giving the Bob Seger example, that was classic rock. You know, that was... Uh, I think that song came out in the 70s. So, I mean, that, you know, that, that kind of stuff is going to be just about every genre of music. Ain't no real getting around that. I did this wrong. There, that's a little better.
Welcome to the part of the stream where I do the same thing about 10 or 12 times until I get it right, and then decide I never will get it right. Because that's just art. It might look right to you, but it doesn't look right to me at times. OCD, yeah, it's probably part of it, but again, just also just so, just, just art in general is like, nope, nope, I don't like that, nope, 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 I don't like that. It is so many artists. Oh, wait. Uh, here we go. That will just kind of round off here because robot could just have like, you know, swivel hinges like that. Early 2010s, yeah. Yeah, early 2010s, 90s, when like, that was pretty much everything that was on the radio. I, I can get that, I get that. I mean, during that whole phase, like, I really didn't listen to current music either. I've always enjoyed classic rock. Or, uh... Or just finding something on my own, like, uh... I would say... About the mid... The mid-teens. You know, 2015, 15, 16 and that. Uh, that's really when I get started to get into, uh... Ninja Sex Party, and by extension, uh, Twerp, and they, I've been a big Twerp fan basically ever since uh, 2016, because those guys are shwiggity awesome. Oh, I should... Uh, I forgot. This massive line right here can go away. And save early, save often. Just like voting. the thing their numbers is like a lot of these songs make you f think about other things because it sounds like they could fit into them uh like there are there's at least one song on here that while we're listening to it's like wow this is like really big star wars vibe i'm gonna go ahead and you know pop that onto my favorites Back to the left arm and to the hand layer. And it's basically just going to be this. Uh, how do we do my hands before? Let's go ahead and get open up another. That's in this folder. Stream. No. Wrong folders. Clip. Ah, here we go. All right. Let's go ahead and open up my gaming one see how i kind of did that again i really like that b i'll never be able to make that b again that's why i have not erased it yet hmm okay okay let's open up the art uh reaction close that now let's leave that open that one's even more primitive to that. So, uh, okay, yeah, we'll do it like this. We'll bump down to four. We'll just basically figure out where the knuckles are. That basically just has one, two, and then the palm, where is fingers have one two three 
then the attachment. Yeah, one, two. I guess that's three. Yeah, that's just one, two. And then it's got the third there. Uh, so, this could be here like that. And that will be open like that. Which leads to this. And he just comes usually to that one. Wait. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is... That's a hell of a thing. Let's take the popper off. Caution, I can now pop my peas. Properly. Because I took the pop filter off the microphone. Okay, that's if they move that up, it was does that, so... Alright. Pop the mic back on. All right, it's physical. I guess it would look more like that. Okay, redo time. All right, redo time. This would actually. Okay, so that would actually be more like that. So... I gotta check something real quick. I hope that's not the AC going off because I got the windows open. It'd be a damn shame if the AC was going off right now. Uh, that's kind of that. That's kind of that. Okay, good. It's just the fan. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and... Stick with this, 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 this foolish-looking thing. way too long. So we'll just uh, cut that one off. Hmm. Now we can just cheat and have it go behind the console. Simple as. That's all. You see, you can find shortcuts to everything. That's not bad. That's not bad. We just uh, clean up the lines back here now on the armors. A little bit there in the hand. 
Don't like how that came down. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Look at that. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I do have a detail. Yeah, I got a detail there. There we go. There it is. Uh, Grimos, hello. Possible name for the art stream, the Friday Unwind art stream. Interesting. We'll think about that. We'll workshop that. We'll workshop that a little bit more. All right. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right. Let's go ahead and bring up that reference picture again. Uh, you can close the sketch folder for now. Turn that on. I can turn that off. Put that on. That's right. Yeah, that's our paper doll makeup right there. That's the base body we used X for. Okay. Let's get the detail. Oh, one lines. Skip. Switch. Details. Strike of the Friday art stream. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it could also just be, you know, something boring like Striker's Friday art stream. But that is boring. We don't do boring here. We do thrilling! Just, make, just get a damn square. Make a damn rectangle. Put it on its own layer. There you go. Ta-da. Even though that needs to be, like, moved in a little bit. Wait. Hmm. Command bar settings. Interesting. Oh, no. Close that. No. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Tab. Ma oh, tab. Wait, right. Tab made settings. Pressure settings. All right. Let's go ahead and save it. I, I recently did update, uh, my copy of okay that's whoa oh i clicked the wrong thing here sorry about that uh give me just a second here i'll get that brought back up just put this up real quick all right let's see there we go okay we're back up we're back up and bring the good thing i saved right before that happened I save her before I hit that button. No, we're good. We're good. Uh, uh -huh, interesting. Save duplicate. Um, because there are new things that can be done uh, with just this whole new setup. Uh, obviously, I should look into them off the stream, but again, you guys know how I am, where I'm just like, hey, wait, what if I try this or this? How about that? Or how about this? Because it might be in this copy of Clip Studio, but like, it's able, it might be Clip Studio too, but like, it's able to take an image and then through like some kind of AI generation and configuring you're be able to like rotate something like take like a brick wall for example that you know you just draw out a brick wall basically kind of like this and then obviously you know you've got your you know your, your, your bricky details in here however you want to do do your bricky do but you know you, you've just got some 
of the brick details in there, things like that. But I'm just gonna use this as an example. But you know, if you grab it in here, you'd be able to like rotate it like, like uh, quarter turns this direct, you know, diagonally, but like, like out and around, not just, you know, spinning it around like it, you normally would. Like I said, I don't know if that is this version of Clip Studio, which is uh, Clip Studio 1, or if it's in Clip Studio 2, so uh, I'm not entirely sure. And I'm going to stick with Clip Studio 1 because uh, that is not a subscription-based uh, program. And luckily, Clip Studio heard um, their clientele when they announced Clip Studio 2 be, hey, we're going to be subscription-based. And everyone's like, all right, well, let's start looking for alternatives to Clip Studio because Clip Studio was an alternative to Photoshop when it went um, subscription-based. And they're like, okay, hey, uh... Now, yes, I understand that some programs like this might need to be subscription based because obviously you sell it once you it, it's like a ladder you sell it once and when's the next time you're going to need another ladder right you know you're, you're almost never going to need uh another ladder so uh, let's open these back up too you know you're almost never going to need a new ladder so you know you you, you buy clip studio and you, know, you you've got clip studio forever and all of its updates and things like that. So, yes, I can understand some of these companies needing or wanting to go to a subscription base, but at the same time, you know, a lot of people are like, well, guess we're done with this program now. Let's start looking for alternatives. And Eclipse Studio's like, okay, okay, just, you know, two will be subscription based. And when we make Clip Studio, this Clip Studio 3 program, that will be back to just, you know, a once by licensing, which is what Clip Studio 1 was. You just bought the license once, and it was yours. You know, you didn't have to worry about paying every month or every year for it. Exactly. H have you paid for a ladder subscription this month yet? Yeah. No, I have not. I, I purchased my ladder once, and I do not need to purchase it ever again now. No, ladder is just one... And the reason I use a ladder as the example is because, well, I mean, it's a ladder. You really don't buy more than one ladder ever, unless, like, you somehow lost it in the great de-laddering of 1947, and even then, do not speak of the great delattering of 1947. Uh, Grandpa remembers, Grandpa is scarred. I don't need that. Or maybe I do. Well, yeah, unless you need a longer ladder, but see, that's why you kind of, uh, you, you, yeah, if, yes, there are times where you could use a longer ladder. I will grant you that, but you also kind of plan out your ladder needs. Like when I purchased my ladder, um, I got one that was essentially a little giant. Um, it is normally a six or seven foot ladder, but with the different uh, configurations I can put it in, it can reach, I think like up to, let's see if it's a six foot ladder, it could go about 24 feet or so. Because uh, it's multi-adjustable, uh, obviously, and it's 
in its A-frame, you know, you've got your basic, you know, six feet right here. But then if I wanted to, I could then uh, double out uh, the legs here and get obviously anywhere from six to now 12 feet out. And then I could also make an adjustment here and change the ladder. Actually, it would sit like this to now essentially 24 feet, depending, obviously, depending on the uh, angle I have the ladder against uh, whatever surface. So again, just as, as I said during the, the bench build, you know, you, you pick the tools for the job you're going to want them to do. Yeah. All right, let's see, zoom out here. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, we could put... This little guy here. There we go. That's there, that's that type of temperature. That's all looking pretty good, yeah. Yeah, really not a whole lot of details. Oh, yeah, oh, silly me, of course. I forgot the coolest details, the boot designs. Duh. This is very Pirates of the Caribbean-esque sounding music. since we're here on this layer. All right, and here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go little dot, and we're gonna use that wonderful little straight line tool that I discovered on my shift key. Take some artistic liberties right there. This leggy layer, right? Yeah, leggy layer. And get this in here. Just yeah, that's good enough. Uh, let's try and round this off a little bit here. Gotta blend this in a little bit better, I think. There we go. And same with this, just kind of round that out a little bit. And hit that save button, because saving is cool. Uh, yeah, we got to get the feetsies in there. Let's get the feetsies in there. He does have two leggies. He has two leggies and two feetsies. And as we all know, ammo does go in the feedsies. I don't care what anyone else says. Ammo goes in the feedsies. There we go. Just, uh, I 
actually, what, ah, dang it. Get those out there. That's not bad. That's not bad, I think. Uh, let's turn the reference off. Kind of look at things. Oh, yep. I was about to say, let's look for lines. Yep, I see some lines to get rid of here. Alright, I do need to do something here with the detailing here. Uh, I think, actually, if... Go to the hand layer real quick. I wanna let's experiment a little bit. And I think that will allow me. I acknowledge I'm currently using the pencil. That's fine. Okay, but I like how this works. That's like that under cavity. kind of rounded it out instead. Just something like that. I think I like that. So what I will do right now, try and blend this a little bit together. There, I'll do this on the armor layer. Actually, let's see how much I like. I would like if I do that, why not its own layer? Oh, I'm gonna have to find you now. No, I don't like that. It's too ovular.
Okay, stop it. I don't know how to get these tools to stop. Because this is kind of neat. Okay, it's not working how I want it to work. Okay, that's how it works. Interesting. Okay, so let's actually try that real quick. That's stupid. Continuous curve, how do you work? Okay, you might do the job. Uh, let's swap back to pen, though. There we go. Grab that again. Uh, this is a hand layer. Grab this real quick. That. This. See what I'm doing. Uh, the black on black. bad because all this is going away we don't need that um, but I do need that on five do I want a five let's put it on four do that again Interesting. Okay, that's fine, because that's going to be going away. That's a lot that's going to be going away. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. All right, hand, get rid of red. Layer two, I can just get rid of. This here, how dare you hand? There it is, okay. Yeah, that'll be, da, ba, da, da. Okay, no, nice, all right, all right, save that. Um, I can also go ahead, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Because again, it's under the arm. It should not be seen. And will not be seen. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Save again. Yeah, I think that helps out a little bit. That does help out a little bit. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take just a quick 
little break. So we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. We'll be back after this. Personally, I think commercials have some pretty cool stuff. There are lots of teddy bears, but only one Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, Teddy. Your friend is what I'd like to He's be. He's alive. How does he do that? He's a magic bear. One day, we found an He's old treasure map. The treasure was bear. supposed to be here. My friend Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin comes with storybook and cassette. Other stories sold separately. Batteries not included. Sugar Bear and Golden Crisp, the golden tasting one with a touch of golden honey for a taste of solid gold. Crispy Crunch, we got a munch, makes a golden taste explode. Can't get enough of that golden taste. Can't get enough golden crisp. So to make your morning golden, get the flavor going fast. It's Golden Crisp cereal, the golden tasting blast. Can't get enough of that golden taste. Can't get enough golden crisp. It's the golden tasting part of this complete breakfast. It's the incredible crash dummies. Some days this job's hard to face. Now the Crash Dummies have a crash test center where Slick, Spin, and all the dummies face the ultimate test. Nice body slam! There's even a place to crunch your crash car. You guys really cracked me up. Don't you be a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. And leave the crash into us. The incredible Crash Dummies. Crash test center comes with everything shown. You put it together. It is time to party. Time to party. Oh, strike the punch. A bit more funny. The Kitch Marich. Tiny Teen Adventure. Weekly for Channel 2. The show, it's back. All right, there we go. There we go. Just had to give my hand a little bit of a, a little bit of a break there. A little bit of a stretch. Because the hand goes, and I can't. Uh...
Oh, look at that. I thought I turned my microphone on. Unless it muted when I went to the other screen there. Or if I haven't muted this whole time. I thought I turned that back on when I came back from the commercial break. But anyway, as I was attempting to say, um, uh, no, like 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 I showed in these in, in the real screen. Now I'll, I'll go back to I'll go back to it. Um, that is my current art setup right there. Uh, there on the left side of the screen is the hard pad that I draw on. So that's what I'm using. That that that's my little art setup there is that little hard pad right there. I've got that just sitting here in front of me. Um, I should put a, I should put that there in the lines. So let's go to the white, black. Blip, blip, boop, 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 boop. That's about here. You know, let's bring that down to a four. But yeah, um, eventually I wouldn't mind getting like a. Uh, one of those like actual like like an actual tablet like a touchscreen tablet to just kind of uh oh thank you for hey zin hey zin thank you for being a subscriber for 18 months why have we made these decisions for that long why why, why have we made such a long and tedious screw up here but anyway um close that close that back close that back but yeah that is how I am currently set up. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't mind getting a touchscreen one of these days so I can like actually like look at it like a, you know, pencil and paper art. Um, I think that would just help things a, a little bit better, be a, li a little bit better. Um, as I think I just, because I did do a picture not long ago on you know physic with you know a pencil and a, on a piece of paper and like that image just like just flowed out remembering the muscle memory of the character and the image and everything like that just flowed out so well just physically with pen and paper whereas just how this is you know working with this hard pad is is a little different it well it's it's, it's different but it's not different but it is terribly different as well, so um, you know, details are going to be on top. So let's just go ahead and just put this in on the armor too. Let's do that there. But I think getting a physical pad, like a touchscreen pad, would help, or what would, would feel more natural for me. It would be a lot nicer and just smoother for me to use. I think. Look at Mimi. There's me. Yeah, that could go up in the details, though. Uh, back out. That stripe will be put in detail, but we'll make it white for now, or red for now. We'll just, you know, I can just kind of just sloppy gloppy all over this. <sighs> wow. Okay, let's look at something here. That's fine. Um, that's fine. We 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 can we can fix this. Look at that. We weren't on the wrong layer ever at all. Shut up. You can't prove anything. You can't prove we did that all on the wrong layer. Yeah, I might look into one of the Samsung tablets uh, and grab one of those, maybe. If I did. Oh, I gotta put details on the hand here, too. So, yeah, let's just go ahead. 
color that all in for the moment. Yeah, I know when uh, I first started using this heart pad, uh, it was just a little rough for me to not want to look down at what my hand was doing. Uh, it didn't take me long to train myself not to do that, but uh, it did take a hot minute to uh, not do that. Let's just bump this up a bigger size. There we go. Because there's a lot, a lot of feeties, feetsies here to color in. But yeah, it might be a couple of weeks though before I actually do stream again. Um, like I said, Rob will be uh, streaming, or is attempting to stream. Uh, all day tomorrow, um, starting at nine. So you know, System Saturdays will not necessarily be what it is. Uh, but I will be around during my stream time. Uh, and the week at weekend after that, uh, I might be going out of town again. So uh, at the very least, I won't won't be streaming Friday. But I probably still will have. Uh, the art stream though next week so I will tell you I'll tell you that so you can at least kind of look forward to the Friday art stream but maybe not system Saturdays next week it's like because again I'm just going out of town so we'll see we'll see there's like a 20% chance I may stream next week on Saturday but Don't wait up for me, or don't get up for me, because you, know, you can sleep in. You can sleep in next week. Probably don't have to worry about getting my stream. I'll let you, I'll let you sleep in. I don't need to worry about up there, but I do see a little bit of gray peeking in back there. A little over here, a little bit right there. And just get that there, just get that. Because I can just come through with the eraser and just zoop. Just like that. I just clean that out too. But here I go, just ink paint in there. Because a little bit of that corner was gray. sound effect is a subscription. I thought that was a follow sound effect. What's, what's the follow sound effect again? I forget. Oh well. does have that red on there. Let's go ahead and take this down to 20. again real quick here white gray <laughs> all right we'll put the white on the helmet layer just 
do this up in red. Because, you know, coloring gray over gray is a little difficult, so we'll color this red. Grab the white. Get the face. Go hit that. Oh wait, actually that doesn't need. That can actually be. Yeah, be like that because that's going to be the detail layer, which will be this gray. Yeah, the lighter gray here. We'll grab this one. No, this one here. And that's yeah, that's. I'll just be here on. Is that really? Go back. Yeah, it is lighter. Okay, yeah, that'll be this one here. And we'll just... Put that in like so. It almost doesn't seem like it's, like it's real cut, like it's true color. No, I guess it is. It's probably the absence of the uh, chin strap that might be throwing me off. But anyway, let's go ahead and just boop that little, eh, bring that down to an eight. Just get that right there. We go. Get that out of there. There we are. There we go. Oh well, I blanked on that there. All right, uh, body, no. Set the layers there. Damn problem solved again. You didn't see anything, you can't prove anything. Care what your grandmother says. I'll teach you to be happy. I'll teach your grandmother to suck eggs. All right, zoom out. That's yeah, looking good for now. Uh, we'll get the. But that's oh, right. The camo it doesn't need to be like three different layers too, though. Uh, so for that, we'll just put the camo its own folder give that three layers and we'll just name them one two and three poke that there we're gonna be doing those yet uh body here we go uh body is basically just gonna be uh this little sideways here and then the lower waste as well so that's what we use this this purple for make that a little bit bigger here but at the very least it looks like we're gonna have At least the first, this base image, the first frame, is what we'll basically call it done for the next System Saturday stream. So that'll be fun to see that, I think. I think that'll be kind of nice to have up. Some red there, so let's grab this red. There we go, just go behind that. And look at that, we had some red bleed through, so we'll grab our purple back. And then we'll just cover that up. And then 
erase that away. There we go. Look at that. Nice and cheekily done. B for brush. Good. All right. Um, that camo can actually go underneath everything. That will be covered up by the arms and the legs here. So that camo layer can stay down there. All right. Details real quick. Uh, we got some white to put in here. Bump that down to a 10. just erase the unwanted bits here. that out a little bit there we go we got some white to put down there since we're on our way now we'll just go ahead and do that also do i have this on i do have it on shuffle okay so up that right there. I've got to get rid of at least that right there. Uh, yep, you know what? The controller can actually be... Uh... Let's turn the background down real quick. Oh, wow, that's... That's actually convenient that uh, I don't have the Switch controller here. It's, uh, it's a happy, happy mistake that happened there. Uh, let's just grab this gray from the Wii U, though. Hey, this is turning out pretty good, too, comparatively to the rest of the scene. But let's not spoil that, though. We'll take a look at that in about five minutes or so, because we are starting to come up on time for our art stream. Some lines in there I'm going to need to get rid of too. And we are here on the detail layer. This is the detail we got to do, so let's go ahead and rock that right now. Uh oh, I went back on something. That's what I went back on. Ew, there. Uh, let's bump this up to 15. Morning, Zippy. Are the deep have the paladin? Well, that's that's uh, that is part of the of the uh, character's design, but yeah. And oh, of course, uh, you know, like I said, Rob is doing the um, the big streamathon uh, this week. You know, tomorrow, uh, but you know. Of course, we always have uh, our Friday stream schedule. We've got Bulk and Crew coming up later tonight, of course, as always. Uh, about an hour and a half after I end, so, you know, about an hour and a half or so. Uh, they'll be getting up to their shenanigans, uh, be it Farm Sim or something else, I'm sure. 
uh, whatever they end up streaming tonight will always be a fun time for one and all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a smaller brush here. So yeah, you know, give you a chance to take a break, walk around, stretch, grab a snack before the next stream we have tonight. Yeah, we're we're having our PBS Bankathon, basically. Yeah, I guess that's what you can call it. That's that's a good, that's a good call there. Confused. I hit the save button. Didn't mean to, but never hurts to save. Never hurts to have a little save. You know what? What I think we'll do is finish up on these little leg and belt details. I'll take a look at the picture here. Quick reference bring up. Oh, that's a sketch. A layer of reference. Yeah, that's gray. That's gray, but this is white. We do this in white. White sail? Actually, what we'll do is we'll turn the back bill off, turn the reference on. Yeah, gray, so we'll grab our dark gray right here side colored up. That's airbrush. I'll get the paint going. for down here yes maybe I'll put this one quick reference yeah I'll put the slider one down here and what I'm now I'm gonna grab a third one for the top part of that buckle and when it comes to that little dot we'll just use our monofill to they can make that one. I want to grab this like gravel color. It just looks like gravel. I think that's a good term for this gray. Is like a gravel gray. There we go. And then I'm just gonna make a quick orange up here. Just make it a little darker. There we go. And then I'll just go to mono fill and just. Zoom right in, fill that in. Don't gotta fight nothing. There we go. All right, let's go ahead, hit that save button. Let's go ahead, turn on the rest of our image. Okay, uh, background. That's okay. That's okay. Obviously, there are some lines that do not need to be there. For instance, all of these lines. That could actually easily be handled. Let's just grab these. 
just pull those There we go. And place those between those pallets. You see, it's it's like a jigsaw puzzle. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, but that it, that's uh, that's not looking bad. That's not looking all that bad. That's looking pretty good, I think. Let's rename this one background lines. That'll have to stay there, actually. It stays above the background colors. Actually, I could just make the background stuff its own folder underneath everything. That would work, too. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Background. Drop that there. Those are the colors of the background. They get dropped in there. So the lines for the background. Those get dropped in there. But above the colors, obviously. And then we could just name this one. Let's make another folder. Put that right above here. And this is the foreground. Do is we just take these two folders and put them into the foreground. Look at that. There we go. Problem solved there. Problem solved there. Go ahead. Save that. But yeah, that's coming along pretty well, I think. That looks that's looking pretty good. Uh, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and just swap back to here. Uh, thanks for joining me here always on a System Saturdays. Or not, well, System Saturdays, no, I won't be here. I won't be doing System Saturdays proper tomorrow. Uh, thank you for joining me here on the Untitled Art Stream here on Friday. Uh, you did time it well, Bulk. You did time this too well. Because I'm leaving my art stream now. But I am going to say, stick around about an hour and a half or so. Bulk and friends will be on. Uh, more farming, something else maybe. Who knows? But again, I'm sure it's going to be fun. But again, stick around for that. Uh, once again, Rob will be streaming tomorrow, pretty much all day. I'm gonna go ahead and mute Spotify for a second here. Uh, doing our streamathon. Uh, the money raised tomorrow will help go towards the stream house uh, for the BPL meetup in location redacted. Um, and state redacted for event redacted. So if you can help us out, throw pennies at Rob's face, force him to pick him up out of the, off the floor. So you're aren't missing. Uh, well, we're gonna we're we're gonna we 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 might be taking over part of the streamathon. Yes. Um. Again, we just got to see how much uh, if we can grab anyone else to bring in with us. So. Uh, I we may be streaming proper tomorrow, yes. Um, but System Saturdays won't be streamed. But I will be joining Rob during my normal time slot. Uh, I will be playing Breath of the Wild, but I'll just be grinding out uh, upgrades for the armors. So, but with that, you all have a good rest of your evening, and I will see some of you guys tomorrow. Take it easy, everybody.